Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shellcraft One and my old barn door and barn door treasures on eBay and digital Diane designs on Etsy for digitals only. And today I want to play with product packaging and we're going to make some shaker ephemera out of our product packaging. Um, it's kind of a way to recycle, reuse the things that are already around the house. And so I thought we could just have a little fun play and make some pretty ephemera, ephemera for our journals today. So um, here I have some little, these are, they were actually in um, like a little photo, photo album that was like a two ring binder little photo album. So they open at the top. Um, so we can play with those. I've got some window envelopes. I know in the last video that I did, I got this envelope ready um, to do something with. And then I said I would do it on a different video. So this is the video. <laughs> and then we have, you know, you get your um, your crafty goodness that you, you know, the things that you buy to, to make other things with. And they come in these little plastic bags. And sometimes you have the little product packaging. I think these came from the Dollar General, maybe. It doesn't say, but anyway. Um, so we have those. And then sometimes you order from Etsy shops and you get them in like these little plastic bags. So we can use those. And then my husband buys these little kind bars because they're really good um, for his um, diabetes. Well, they're not really good for his diabetes, but they can kill a sweet tooth. You know, diabetics tend to have a, a large sweet tooth, and he does. But these, you know, they, they're they a little less in sugar. So, anyway, he gets these. And I don't know if you can see on the camera. Let me see. See here how it's got this perforation? So, I thought it would be fun to take this out and make a little shaker out of this cardboard box. So, don't know how much we're going to get to today. <laughs> but we're going to try and... and uh, we're just going to have fun, okay? That's just what we're going to do. We're just going to have fun. So let's get started. Okay, so since I kind of left you hanging in the last video <laughs> with the window envelope, I thought we would start with this one first. And I think I want to make this a pocket. So, and I'm thinking a pocket is pretty good if you do it about five and a half inches wide. So I'm just going to measure to about right here. And I'm just going to trim it off. Okay, we can get rid of that. So then we've got kind of this. So we just need to trim off one more edge um, to make it open up the way we need it to. And I think, I don't think I want this pocket to be this tall. So I think I'm going to cut it to maybe right underneath here so that it'll be a little bit shorter of a pocket and will fit in our journal better. So we'll just trim that off. And now we have this little piece here that we can make into a pocket. Okay. Now, with it, since it's going to be a shaker, I don't really want it to... Um, be busy in the background because I want you to be able to see the items that I'm going to put in the shaker. So um, I'm going to do like a uh, like a some some kind of neutral something in the the back for the background. So I have these. These are just printed from some of my um, vintage invoice um, digitals that I have, and these smaller ones I just kind of printed. Um, I just printed two on a page instead of you know printing them the full full size so I'm just trying to find one well if I can get these apart I'm just trying to find one that'll kind of be you know neutral and won't steal the spotlight from all the fun goodies Ooh, let's use this one steal the spotlight from all the fun goodies that we're going to put in our shaker window okay so let's use this one and I think I want this. No, now see. <laughs> Again, I love the um, the intricate detail of the header of this, but it's still gonna it's gonna steal the spotlight. So 
we probably need to kind of move it down this way and maybe let it be something like this section or maybe this one's not good let me find a different one because now that I'm deciding how I want to do it let's try this one I love the handwriting on this one it's from a handwritten ledger a vintage one from 1897 so maybe if we do something like that in the window yeah I think that'll be better <laughs> it'll be more of a neutral background um, so that whatever we put in the window will stand out a little better. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and um, I'm going to short, I'm going to tear off some of this on this side so that we can, so that it'll fit in the window a little better. So how are y'all doing today? I hope everybody is doing wonderfully. I am well. Um, I think I need to, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just um, tear this whole thing out. Okay, so I got it torn out. And I think I do want, I think I want the date to show in the window. So like I did yesterday, or not yesterday. Well, it was, yeah, I videoed it yesterday. I don't know if you'll see it. If it will have been yesterday when you see it. I think I'm going to put this down in here like this. Um, and then we'll trim up around. So let me do that and I'll come right back. Okay, so I've got that glued down. But I haven't glued this down yet because we need to do some things before we glue this down. So as I was saying before, I hope you all are doing wonderful. I hope you had a good week. <laughs> And I keep interrupting myself every time I try to say that. So, sending y'all big love, okay? <laughs> Alright, so now what we want to do before we glue this down is we need to decide what's going to go in our shaker, okay? And since we have such a small window, we don't want a whole bunch of stuff. Um, and we definitely don't want a bunch of bulky stuff. So, um... But we need to go ahead and lay it down in here. So I'm just going to kind of lay it down on this piece of paper. So we have to be real careful. But I'm going to lay it down in here. And then we will glue this down. And then we'll do our next step. So I have some sequins. So I'm going to put some sequins in here. I've got some white. And so I kind of wanted it to have kind of a vintage feel. Or a vintage vibe. Since it has the vintage ledger in there so I put some colors of sequins that would kind of give it that vibe and then I have some other little trinkets here I've got these little tiny uh, filigree pieces and I thought it would be fun to put one of those in there and maybe a little tiny button because who says you can only have sequins in a shaker you can have whatever you want to have in a shaker and look at this here is a teeny tiny little rusted safety pin that I did so why can't we put one of those in there that gives it a little bit more of a vintage feel and look here's a cute little um, colored button that would look good it looks like it's could be vintage it's not vintage but it, you know it kind of has that color to it I mean you can do labels you can do stamps you can do whatever you want to put in a shaker so I think that's probably going to be enough for this one since, like I say, it is such a small window. So I'm going to stop there. And then what I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and run some of my art glitter glue around the window. Okay? And that's going to seal this in and it'll give it time to start drying. And then I'm going to go ahead and put um, glue stick on here as well so that... So I'm going to just do this real carefully. So I'm going to bring this up here. And I'm going to use my Uhu glue stick first. And I'm just going to glue down the side right here. Kind of down this way. Down this way. And down this way a little. And then I'm going to take some of my art glitter glue. And I'm going to go right around the window. Because this is what's going to give it its seal 
to hold in our shaker goodies. Okay. And then I'm going to slide this out from under here. And then we're just going to very carefully close up our window. And I'm going to run my finger around the window part just to make sure. Ooh, I'm getting it crooked. What in the world did I do? Do y'all see the mess I made? I have to work kind of quickly with the art glitter glue because it seals fast. Oh, see? Okay, let's try this again. We're going to start over. Not completely over, but I'm just going to re... I'm going to push everything towards the middle. And then I'm just going to start right here, and I'm just going to kind of rub it down all the way down. I think that will make it a little easier, and I think it'll lay flatter and do a little better. My paper underneath kind of crinkled up, so I think that's what's causing kind of the problem. That just wants to be a little wrinkly. Trial and error, y'all. Trial and error. See if I can get this to cooperate over here a little. All right. Well, it's not perfect, and that's the way it goes sometimes. However, we can work with this. You just want to make sure that you get a good seal all the way around your window with the glue. Oh, I don't want glue in the window. Okay, and so now we have our seal, and if you want to, which I think I will, I'm going to take this over to my sewing machine, and I'm going to stitch all the way around the outer edge of this window, because you're not going to see the stitching, because we're going to cover this over on both sides, um, but that way, I know, since, since I've got the little crinkle in there, I just want to make sure none of my goodies on the inside of my window are going to come out or fall out, so... I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and stitch it, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got it stitched, and then I'm just going to trim off my stitching or my, my extra threads because we're not going to see those at all. Okay, so full transparency. Y'all know what I did? I don't know if you can see it, but I, I broke it. I broke it. So what I'm going to do... So I'm going to slide this over, or try to. I'm just going to bump it down. And I'm going to have to maybe put like a little pretty little sticker or something here. Just to cover where I, I tore it. So, you know, sometimes you have to improvise. Okay, so I've picked out some stickers. But before I put the stickers on, I want to decorate my pocket. So that I know which sticker I think I like best to go with it. So I'm going to lay the stickers aside, and I'm just going to do a quick collage on here. And I kind of, again, want it to be neutral because I don't want it to take away from um, the shaker itself. So I'm going to collage it real quick with just some scraps. I have a whole pile. What did I do with them? Excuse my reach. I have a whole pile of scraps here. So I'm just going to collage with some scraps, and I'll come right back. Okay, so I've got the collaging done, so now I just need to decorate it a little, and now we can choose which sticker we like. I think that one kind of overwhelms it. Um, this is not a sticker, but we can actually glue it on. If we did it kind of, but then it covers up the date. Let's, let's try this one. I don't like the blue. What about this one? That covers up the date, too, unless we bring it down a little and just kind of put it right there in the corner. So that one's a possibility. Let's try this one. Let's see what our little... Oh, I think I like the butterfly better. 
Okay, let's put the butterfly on there. And that will seal up the little hole that I made. <laughs> like a goofball. So, let's see. Get our little... This is a washi sticker, so it's clear. It'll be see-through once I get it on there. Sometimes they can be a little tedious to get off the little backing piece. But... It's worth it in the end. There we go. Okay, so, so right here's my little hole. So I just wanna make sure that I get it over that. Oh, it's gonna go over the date. Oh well, it's too late now. Can't do anything about it. <laughs> All right, there we go. And then let's try, let's try a label. This is from my um, uh, floral labels in the in the shop. It's just a little kit of floral labels. Let's see which one we like the best. I'm kind of thinking this one. So let me get this one torn out real quick. Where is my tear ruler? Just here. I know, I kind of did that backwards, didn't I? But it's okay. I'm doing it this way because I like having the torn look because it gives it a little bit of a raised edge and it makes it a little bit more 3D. Okay, so we could put that there. We need a little something underneath it. So maybe we use a little bit of this creepy cloth. I'm just going to lay that down right there like that. And then we can trim. And then we'll trim a little bit off the top when I get finished. But I like that. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of Fabri-Tac on the back of this sorry if you can hear mom's TV nothing I can do about it so we just roll with the punches around here okay my fabric tax getting a little bit thick I need to add a little bit of fingernail polish in there and shake it up a little Okay, so I want to just kind of put it right there, and I'm going to let this dry real quick, okay, and then I'm just going to trim off a little bit of this creepy cloth off of the top, and so that way it gives you a little bit of, you know, something, and then do we want some lace on the top of the pocket? I think I do. I've got this little lace here. Probably should have done this part before I did the creepy cloth, but that's okay. Yeah, I think it'll be pretty with the lace on there. So I'm going to just cut a little piece off. And then put a little line of Fabri-Tac all the way across the top. Or this is not Fabri-Tac, it's... But it's truly the same thing as Fabri-Tac. I got these little bottles at the Dollar Tree. And, of course, they were a dollar each. So, um, and they're almost a two-ounce bottle. So, it's a, it was a lot cheaper to buy that um, versus this, which is an eight-ounce bottle. And this is about... I'm thinking around $13 for this bottle. And so, 
you know, this is almost two ounces. So if you bought six of these, you'd pay six dollars versus this. So, um, but I haven't been able to find them anymore. So I don't know that they still have them. I think they probably sold out of them fairly quickly because other people realize that too. <laughs> So, but check at your Dollar Tree and see if you can find those because they're a lot cheaper. Okay. Let's just trim that little tiny bit off the edge there. And how cute is that? Such a cute little pocket. Fix our creepy cloth. So there is a shaker pocket. How cute is that? I love it. So I'll show you what it looks like in a journal. Let me grab it. Okay, so this is my garden journal. Um, I've been working in it since I've been doing gardening. But how pretty is that? That's a cute little pocket. And then you have the little shaker. Now, it's a little bit wide for the page, but you can always trim it down if you need to. Super cute. Okay, so that is the shaker pocket from a window envelope. So where to next? Okay, let's make a shaker card out of this one. This is the little photo sleeve that I got out of the little photo book. And I, these make really easy um, shakers because, you know, they're already closed up on three sides. Now, you do have the holes here, so you have to make, um, you have to take that into consideration. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this paper out. And this gives us something to collage. And so, again, I kind of want a neutral background. And so I have um, these little um, ledgers from my uh, vintage ledger kit in the shop. And so I think that would be pretty on there. So I'm just going to tear this out. And then I'm just going to lay it down onto my little insert that came out of the photo album little sheet and I'm just going to glue it down just like so and then we can trim around but before we trim um nope I take it back we're going to go ahead and trim around it and I think I'm going to do it with my deco edge trimmer so I'm just going to put this in here Kind of hard to see the edge. Trim that. And then I'm going to trim on the opposite side of the little holes that are there um, because we're going to get rid of that because we're not going to need that part. And um, it'll all come together once you, once you kind of see how I put it together. Okay, so we're just going to get rid of those. So we have this left. Okay, so it will slide back in here. Now, there are several ways that you can use these little sleeves for a shaker pocket. You can, you can do it like this and fill both sides. You can put something on the front and the back of this and make it a shaker pocket on both sides. Um, you can stitch this together down here at the bottom, you're going to stitch it, and then you'll cut off this extra here. Um, or, so you can put it on another, um, like another piece of paper and make it a pocket. You know, this could be a pocket in behind. There's just lots and lots. You just use your imagination. There's so many different things that you can do with these. Or you can actually... Um, stitch it and then cut this back piece off and make it to where you can write you know on the back and make it like a little journaling card so again lots of different ways that you can do it but for this one i think i want to make it like a little journaling card so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to trim around the edges and just use one piece of this so that you have more of this plastic that you can use for shakers. So, I'm just going to, I don't know why I'm using the decal edge trimmer for that. I don't need decal edge for that. Okay, let's see. 
Let's go this way. And like I say, I'm just trimming a tiny, tiny piece of the edge. May not have gotten that. Let's see. Did we get it? I don't think we did. Yes, we did. There we go. So it'll just kind of separate. Didn't get that little tiny spot right there. Okay, so I'm going to leave this together until I finish um, putting in all my goodies, and you'll see why. So before we do this, before we put our goodies in here, since we're going to make this like a little journaling card, um, I'm going to put something on the back that you can write on. And again, I want something kind of neutral. Um, I've got this, which would be cool because it's got the lines. Or this, which would be cool too because it's got the lines. I think I like the green. So let me just put the green on the back here. Okay, so I've got the backing on. So now you can journal on the back. And I've gone ahead and took it to the sewing machine. And I unfolded the two pieces of plastic. And I just stitched around three sides so that um, I would still have an opening so we can put our goodies in. And I've picked some goodies. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to do a quick cut of this. It's not going to be perfect. I'm just trying to get the excess cut off so it's not in our way. We'll put that to the side to use for another shaker. And then I've got some goodies in here. I've got a label, some buttons, a rusted safety pin. A little tiny mini clothes pin, a little jewelry piece, um, a little vintage stamp. So we're just going to put all of these in here. Okay, and I think it needs some more goodies in here. So I'm going to get some sequins. And I have these sequins, and I wanted to kind of have a little bit of a vintage look. So I have these which they just have that little, they look like little pieces of wood grain. So we're going to throw a few of those in. And then we'll do a couple of these. These are just gray, larger size sequins. So we're going to chunk a couple of those in, two or three, if I can get them off my finger. And then we're going to do some cream colored ones. And I'm going to just throw a few in. I don't want them to be stuck together, though, so I'm trying to separate them. But it's kind of hard to keep them separated, especially when they're sticking to your fingers. <laughs> and then these, these are actually clear. They're actually glow-in-the-dark ones, but I thought they would be fun to add just a few down in there. Okay, and then I have these. Just to add a little bit of color, um, I have these little gold looking ones, so we'll put a few of those in there, and then, oh sorry about that, that was a yuck noise, <laughs> I just want a couple of these little orange ones, because they just add a little extra color, but it's not like too bright, and then, let's see, Got these are like copper color, so we'll put a couple of those in. Okay, and you can put glitter in here if you want to. Um, I do have some glitter. Oh, you know what? I have this cool. This is gold glitter, but it's little stars. Let's put a little bit of this in here just for fun. So I'm just gonna dump a little bit of this in here. I am not a huge fan of glitter, y'all, so. <laughs> and then I want to take some little pieces of fabric or laces. So I've got this little piece. Let's just add a tiny little piece of this in here just to give it a little bit of a different color. Okay. Well, it's stuck to my finger. <laughs> and then we'll put, oh, this is cute. This is just a little snippet of lace that I had left over from a project. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in here too. 
So we'll just put it in on this side over here. We could add one of these pretty little stamps. Oh, let's add a piece of this fabric. This will be pretty. Put a little piece of fabric. This is vintage fabric down in there. And how about a piece of lace? Let's do a piece of lace. And put him down there. And it doesn't matter where you put them in your little shaker because they're going to shake around anyway. And then I've got this little printed stamp. How pretty is that? Let's add that in there. And then let's add a vintage stamp. Let me see what we've got in here. Let's do this one. Just add another little bit of color. Put that one down in there. Okay, so now that we have our shake, all of our goodies in our shaker, I'm going to take it back to the sewing machine and I'm going to stitch the top closed. And when I stitch the top closed, I'm going to make sure that I meet this stitch and this stitch so that there's no gap. So let me take it to the sewing machine and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've taken it to the sewing machine and look at how stinking cute that is. I love it. So you have your shaker part on the front. You can journal on the back. And then the last thing we need to do is just trim off this little excess plastic up here. And I'm just going right along the edge of the card and trimming that off on both sides. I just don't want that extra plastic sticking out. And there you have a cute, cute little shaker journal card. Um, and I was looking at the time, and I didn't get to show you everything I wanted to show you. I'm just playing around, and, and my videos went too long. Because I still have this, and I still have these. So maybe I'll make a second video of Shaker Ephemera. Y'all let me know in the comments if you want a second video. Um, just to kind of see. But anyways, um, I did go ahead and make one of these off camera just to kind of show you what I was talking about with um, with your little photo sleeves, how you can leave them together. So I just took a piece of double-sided card and put it down in the sleeve, added my shaker elements, cute little shaker elements, and um, I put the shaker elements on the more neutral side and I left the pretty side just for looks. So anyways, that's one of those. And here's our shaker pocket with our envelope window. So those are the three items we made in today's video. And like I say, I may do a part two and come back and show y'all the rest because I just ran out of time. So hope y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like it if you did and subscribe if you're not. And I'll see you in the next video. Big hugs.